Hey everyone, is gig work slow for you? Well, in this video, I'm going to give you four ways to work through that slowness and help improve your earnings. Hello everyone, my name is Russ and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I give you tips on how to improve your earnings and ratings primarily as a food delivery driver. Today, I want to share an important topic I've seen uh, concerns overall in the market that it's slowing down and I just wanted to give you some information some three years worth of my earnings so that you can see that trend and I'm going to give you four ways that you can work through this slowdown or any time that it's slow for you so let's get started so I've been doing gig work part-time for a few years now and I have my earnings showing here and this goes from 2019 through 2021 do keep in mind that how I ran the data is when I actually got paid. So some months have more weeks than others and some paydays fall into the next month. Overall though, you can see the general trend that in my market here in Southern California, it starts off low in January and then ramps up through the summer into the fall and then starts over again. In 2022, you can see my earnings so far and the pattern looks pretty close to the same. I really can't explain the dip in April, and I'm just guessing that in August it's because people are coming back to school, or I'm also taking time off and not working as much. First, I want to start off and give you some background. Do you know that most companies, and I'm just speculating here, most companies forecast their sales off of past sales. That's right, historical demand. And so some of the data that the gig economy companies give us is helpful. They'll show you past trends and when you can expect to make the most money. One thing that I will caution you on is be careful of when these gig apps show you heat maps or surge. They're trying to just really draw you in, in to keep on working. And that doesn't necessarily mean that, that's, that there's a lot of orders or you can make a lot of money during these times. So be careful of pretty colors. So as you probably well know, managing your own time is a personal responsibility. And with a little thought, you can assess when it is too slow and when you should go home. But I do have four tips for you on how to work through whenever there's a slowdown in your market. And if that's right now for the summer for you, I have four tips that'll help you. The first tip is multi-app. You really need to be on many companies. Don't just rely on one. I kind of do that, like for right now, Instacart is my main source of income because it's been busy. But when it's slow, you already need to be proficient and operating on many of these companies. And my tip for you is try to pair them with different industries. So one day rideshare may be slow, food delivery may be slow, but maybe shopping in the store is not or maybe package delivery isn't. So an example of package delivery could be Amazon Flex, delivering packages or groceries from Whole Foods or Amazon Fresh stores. Another gig economy industry is catering. Have you thought about that? Getting on the catering apps? Because businesses still are working and their employees need to eat. Also, what about pet sitting? There's Rover, what if you also use your own personal skills and there's a variety on TaskRabbit? So do you see where this is going? You can pair food delivery with rideshare, food delivery with shopping. You can also do TaskRabbit. And then when it's slow, maybe do pet sitting or do rideshare. The possibilities are endless. My second tip for you is take care of yourself first. That's right, when it's slow, we all have errands to run, right? So go shopping, check your mail, go to appointments if you have meetings, and then when those are over in between, then you're available to do any orders that may come up for your gig economy apps. Will this work out perfectly? No, but it will give you options instead of just going home and giving up. It'll give you the opportunity to make money throughout the day without sacrificing what you need to get done. The third tip I have for you is lower your standards. That's right. You're going to see much advice here on YouTube about certain dollars per mile, dollars per hour. But in reality, isn't it better to make some money than none? So lower your standards. 
Notice I did not say eliminate your standards. We don't work for charity and we don't work for free. So pick orders that will give you earnings and that aren't too bad. And then when the market's really busy, you can be very selective and go with your normal criteria. My fourth tip for you, think outside the box. So in the gig economy, there's many types of companies. Is there an online business that you could be managing? That way, when it's slow during the day for gig economy apps, you could be on your online business running that. And that could be eBay, Redbubble, Etsy, have a Shopify store, maybe do some drop shipping. It's good to have one of these businesses going no matter what. That way you can still do the gig economy apps during the day and then at night you can be running your business. And who knows, there really could be other online opportunities that I'm not thinking of. What about reselling products? I've seen uh, ones where you go into stores and it's retail arbitrage. You see if some shoes are on sale and you use an app to get online and see if you could sell it for hire. So what did you think of those four tips? You need to multi-app take care of yourself and work on the side, you need to lower your standards and explore some online businesses to help you make some money. I hope that you do find it helpful and please do share in the comments below any feedback that you have. Do you already do things like this and how has it worked for you? And again, you know, no one wants to be standing on the side of the road begging for money. So there are other options instead of giving up and stopping. And that way, as there are slow times in the gig economy, you can still make money. Is this perfect? Of course not. Um, it'll be pretty obvious when you should quit and go home if you're really not making any money. But this will help you get through those slow times. All right, everybody, until I see you in my next video, take care. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, and that way you'll know when I come out with new content. Have a good day. Bye. Is it gonna be slow forever? How come there are no orders? This seems to be something that I do quite a bit when it's slow is uh, say, give me another order. Hey, here's a $4 Uber Eats order. You know what, it's slow. I'm gonna go ahead and take it.